july showers by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia here comes sunny old july with a twinkle in her eye and her lovely smiling sky bids us turn to pleasant ways bids us think of playful days with her genial prancing rays dots the meadows with rare flowers thrills the eye with leafy bowers fresher made by cooling showers ah those showers to my mind they are gifts of nature kind in our trials to remind those of us beset by fears what rare loveliness appears as the aftermath of tears july first end of poem this recording is in the public domain build by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia if you be expert or unskilled it matters little if you build and if in building you are true twill make an expert out of you waste little time in tearing down destruction wins no lasting crown the souls that win the sweetest cup are builders builders build us up july second end of poem this recording is in the public domain july by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia flower and song the whole day long and soft starlight the livelong night and breezes sweet to ease the heat and glowing fields for harvest yields and dancing rain to coax the grain and skies the hue of truest blue and all things green with summer sheen what wonder we who truly see are filled with cheer with july here july third end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Freedom by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. The independence that I seek is that which leaves me wholly free to serve the lowly and the meek, and for the voiceless soul to speak. Such challenges to slavery that soon will dawn that perfect day when all men's chains have passed away and freedom is the portion fair of serf and peon everywhere july fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain will by john kendrick banks Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Will to be strong. It won't be long before you really are. Will to be free from misery, and care will draw afar. Will to be brave, and even the grave will lose its terrors black. Will to have health and spirit wealth, and neither you shall lack. July 5th end of poem this recording is in the public domain the excess by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia i'll not complain of surplus heat on country lane or city street but store the same deep in my heart where later it may do its part when needy souls demand of me an arms of geniality july sixth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the test by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia the test of me is just to make the best of me and if perchance that is not good at least i've done the best i could and after all 
it can't be hid that's all bill shakespeare ever did july seventh end of poem this recording is in the public domain insurance by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia if so be you'd insure your life against the shafts of earthly strife an easy premium to pay is just a bunch of smiles each day a smile at dawn to greet the sun a smile at eve when tasks are done and in between from nine to four keep doling out the smiling score and every bit of fearsome care will vanish into thinnest air for woe forgets her cruel wiles before the spirit armed with smiles july eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Pleasant Game by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia Pretend that you're a powerhouse, irradiating joy, A sort of cheerful dowerhouse, which nothing can destroy, And that you're pushing trolley cars upon the tracks of earth, A lot of smiling, jolly cars, all echoing with mirth, The which are toting weary folks, to scenes of peace and rest you'll fill your world with cheery folks and dwell among the blest july ninth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the point of view by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by sonia an apple with a worm inside is not to man a thing of pride and yet i cannot help surmise to mr worm this paradise whence i deduce that one can find if he but have a searching mind somehow in everything some good if it be rightly understood and what is joy or what is rue depends upon the point of view july tenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the accounting by john kendrick banks read for librivox .org by phone i started in to count my cares and lost the wheat for counting tares i took a census of my woes and counting thorns saw not the rose Twas when I turned the thing around, and counting blessings up, I found that dwelling on my stock of cheer, I hadn't any time for fear. July eleventh. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Independence by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by phone. Whatever my forebears may have been, ape, insect, bird, flesh, fowl, or fin, I am myself, and rain or shine, intend to fill the place that's mine. Say what you will, prove what you can, about the origin of man. No line of monkey ancestry can make a monkey out of me. July 12th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Satisfaction by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by phone. Just how this old world come to be ain't never been quite clear to me, but this I know, for weal or woe, it's quite the best I ever see. July thirteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Out of the Storm by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by phone. When tempests rage, what use to mope and look on life as void of hope? And just because the fierce winds blow, let all your nerve and courage go. Go out and let the gales so keen 
sweep through your soul and make it clean and let the rain that floods the day wash all your gloomy thoughts away go out and face it and as flowers grow sweeter for the drenching showers so let the storm for all its rue refresh the heart and soul of you july fourteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the immortal thing by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by phone the world may change and flowers fade and hope by evil chance betrayed forever pass away the fair blue of the skies may hide behind the darkling clouds that ride upon the wings of day our treasured plans may run askew and desolation chill the view unto the mortal eye but in the heart by sorrows racked remains the all-consoling fact that love can never die july fifteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a resolution by john kendrick bangs read for librivox .org by Tavarish. i'm going to take my temper hot into the hills to-day and in some tangled wooded spot where humans seldom stray i'm going to lose it once for all far from the haunts of men where midst the brush and timber tall twill ne'er be found again july sixteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Age Proof by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox to talk by Tavarish. What need, though years shall pass away, for any soul to yield to age, when coming with each brand new day, life's story shows a brand new page, with brand new things upon it writ, revealing brand new veins of truth to stir the mind and edge the wit and fill the heart with the zest of youth july seventeenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain in and out by john kendrick bangs read for librivox .org by tavarish with ribbon lace and spat and tie our outer selves we beautify we spend a lot of hours fair in fashioning fine things to wear, the which shall make the outer us splendiferous. And that's a right good thing to do, if only, when we put it through, we don't forget, in outer pride, to titivate a bit inside, and make that hidden inner man as spick and span. July 18th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Life by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Life is a blooming rose nurtured by love's own fires, and all our little woes are nothing but the briars. July 19th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Thought Garden by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. A thought is but a seed deep in the mind that, if you cultivate it, you will find will bloom in some achievement, ill or glad, according as the seed is good or bad a thought of joy will fill your day with peace and give your soul from darkness quick release a thought of meanness or of evil deeds will fill your inner garden full of weeds and choke the bloom that might be blossoming like fragrant bowers in the early spring july twentieth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
The Call by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Of all the sins that I detest, in this old whirling world of hurry, most useless in Pandora's chest, that held so many a noxious pest, I deem the very worst is worry. It never cures, and often kills. Of ruin tis the own twin brother. It sears the soul, the heart it chills, destroys our hopes and fattens ills, more certainly than any other. Wherefore, I issue unto all my brothers in these days of flurry, who rest beneath its deadly pall, with heart and soul the clarion call, long live good cheer and down with worry. July 21st End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Open Road by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. For neighbors, birds and busy humming bees, for roof the starry sky and leafy trees, for bed the soft sweet slope of grassy sheen, or some refreshing spread of piney green. For cup of wine, the stimulating cheer of laughing mountain waters crystal clear. For book, those rarest tales of joyous love the breezes through the woodlands whisper of. For company, the stars, and for my task, some daily labor, great or small, I ask, whereby my debt in thanks I may repay for all these blessings on the open way. July 22nd End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The World by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Despite its sorrow and its pain, I rather like the world we dwell in and hope some day to come again it seems to pass another spell in i like its shape i like its air i like its pleasures and its labors i like its people everywhere my friends my enemies and neighbors i like the scheme of age and youth i like such words as sister brother as love and honor, wisdom, truth, and faith and father, friend and mother. I like its rivers, hills and dales. I like the broad sweep of the ocean. I like its light that never fails, its lovely seasons air in motion. I like the plan of night and day, its coloring i deem exquisite and after i have passed away i'd like to make another visit july twenty third end of poem this recording is in the public domain externals by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish when ills beset me, and my face begins of age to show a trace, and my bent form, once lithe and bold, gives signs that it is growing old, when here and there a line appears on cheek and brow to prove my years, I do not sigh to find them there, grim tokens of life's wear and tear, for deep within there dwells in truth the spirit of abiding youth, and in my soul lurks ne'er a doubt, tis but the case that's wearing out. July 24th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Builder by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. In childish mood I like to play 
that I am building my own earth, and some new corner every day I fashion out of joy and mirth. A little nook to sing in, here, a little spot to laugh in, there, and over all a sky of cheer to lift the shadow of all care. July 25th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Self Approval by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Poor mortal vain, he thought himself just right. In self approval sat both day and night, and this strange circumstance soon came to be that everybody round him grew but he stood stagnant there in body soul and mind and in the onrush lagged so far behind that when he reached the place where bays are weft he asked for his and not a wreath was left july twenty sixth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Question by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. When folks dilate on ancestry and boast a chain of fine forebears that stretches back beyond B.C., I envy not that line of theirs. But look that chain so noble o'er, and ask those whites of blood so blue, in all their pride in things of yore, what sort of link in this are you? July 27th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Look Up by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Look up, my friend, not down. Why gaze upon the mire when up above a starry crown of pure celestial fire lies waiting for our eyes to see and for our souls to win if we so ardently desire that every steps an upward flight toward the sources of the light? July twenty eighth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. As to Questions by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. When it comes down to questions strange by which our minds are tasked, I never bother over those that no one ever asked. July 29th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Imperishable by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. The thing you love may pass away, yet loss will still be gain, if in your faithful heart, for a, the love itself remain. July 30th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Willing Targets by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Love's archery is excellent, no matter where his bow is bent. His arrows speed through light and dark, and seldom fail to hit the mark. I wonder if the reason's not. We're all so willing to be shot. July 31st. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Cheery Way. A bit of verse for every day. July. By John Kendrick Bangs.